Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool candlestick telephone with a rotary dial. This is Bill's equipment from PA and this is the initial checkout of this really cool telephone. And what we want to do is run through a little bit about what needs to be done. Now we have a bottom plate for the candlestick and Bill wants to try to cover that in a material. So we're going to look into that situation. We also have a receiver capsule and we'd like to try to use this receiver capsule that the telephone came in with and we're going to troubleshoot this unit and if it turns out to be usable that's fine. If not, we'll upgrade the receiver capsule on the inside. We also want to take a look at the hook switch. We want to make sure that that's cleaned and working properly. We also want to troubleshoot the transmitter. If it's good, we will use it, but it'll probably have to be replaced. Most of them have to be upgraded. And we would install an electronic amplified transmitter that we design and build here at the shop and it will have a high quality transmit power and you will not have to get up on the spit cup to speak into the telephone to use the unit. So we'll get that taken care of. We also want to install a brown cloth cord for the line cord and then we'll be using a brown cloth cord to go over to our receiver capsule. Now we also want to take a look at the rotary dial because it has a lot of issues and it's missing parts and we have some parts that we removed. We have a dial center ring and then we have the plate that fits under that ring. We have a spring and then we have a key. And what has happened is somebody has worked on this rotary dial at some point and what they've done is they took this key and I know you probably can't see it on the video but it has a little catch on it and you can put it in the telephone rotary dial the wrong way and if you put it in the wrong way the rotary dial is not going to work properly and so what has happened is they took the rotary dial and when they replaced that key back into the rotary dial they installed it the wrong way and the rotary dial would no longer work properly and so if you look on the back of the rotary dial, the governor is missing and the worm gear and our contact points. And so they thought that there was something wrong with the rotary dial and they started taking these parts off and probably looking them over and then they got misplaced from the rotary dial. So this is a very early rotary dial and it says on the front of it auto electric and then we have a patent number of 597062 and if you pull that patent number up it comes back as a stroger dial which is totally different than this dial here now it probably is associated with stroger because he hooked up with A and E through the years and so basically how it got mixed up with that patent number is uh, not known so we want to go ahead and get a, a look at this rotary dial a start on it and we need to locate these parts which are going to be hard to find because it's such an early dial because that patent number was given out in 1898 and the patent number was filed for and 1895 so this dial is probably a little newer than that because the stroger dial was basically the first rotary dial that was invented and this would be not too far after that because it's a very early model now the points in this unit would be positioned differently in an A and E dial later on this the pulse mechanism here actually spreads the points apart as to where 
the newer style would ride sideways on the pulse component and then uh, the governor was about the same it kind of stayed the same so it's a very early dial and there's no markings on this dial to indicate exactly which dial this is so we want to get a start on that we'll come back and get some more video after we start repairing the dial so we're going to take a short break we'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the repair of this really cool candlestick telephone we'll be right back okay we're back now and we're in the middle of the process of repairing the rotary dial for this candlestick telephone and we located the parts that we needed what we want to do is show you the unit with the governor in we have not installed our points yet our contacts and we're going to show you what this unit looks like with the governor installed We also want to give you a look at the writing that's on this dial, if the video is picking that up. We want to go ahead and dial. If you hear that sound effect, the ratcheting noise, the ratchet, that's working properly if you do not hear that ratcheting noise when working on a dial like this that means that the key is missing or it's installed improperly or the spring is bad you have to hear that ratcheting noise when it's working properly. We'll give you a look at what that looks like on the back side. So now what we want to do is we want to install our contacts, our points, and we'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the repair of this really cool candlestick telephone. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we have installed our contacts. So I want to give you a look at what they look like installed and then we want to do some dialing And if you notice, our pulse mechanism rides between the contacts and that's what splits the connection on the contacts. Now 
Now a little more modern AE dial would come off of the side and there would be a little bit of a different pulse wheel and they would open this way instead of spreading apart they would open this way so now they open this way and then later on they changed it to where they open to the side so this is a very early dial now this little linkage here coming off the center hits these contacts and then actually pushes them down when it returns and opens those contacts. And then when you start to dial, they close and then they open. They're closed, open. So now we're ready to test our dial on the analyzer and we'll set that up and give you a look at that. Now what we can do is we can plug the rotary dial into the analyzer. It seized the analyzer and if you watch this number pattern you'll watch the numbers roll by. I'm going to end in a 2, and then we'll start over and do it one more time. And I'll end in a 2. We can go ahead and unplug the unit, plug the dial back in one time, try that one more time. and I'll end in a 2. We can go ahead and unplug the dial from the analyzer and now what we'll do is finish up some of the other work that we need to get to on this candlestick telephone and we'll come back and get some more video. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now, and we are finished up with the repair and conversion of this really cool candlestick telephone, and we're ready to start our final checkout. Now, I also want to mention our amplified pickup. We use this in troubleshooting, repairing, and on our final checkouts. It's amplified so that you can hear the receiver audio. And basically, I have an amplifier backed by the video. It has a button on it. And when I press the button, I can give dial tone or take it away at any time. And since it's an open amplifier, it is prone to any static interference or noise in the atmosphere. And I'm going to go ahead and press the button, and you're probably going to hear a, an electrical hum. I'll release it. Press it one more time. And release it. So if you hear any noise during the final checkout, it will be coming from the amplifier and not the telephone. We also installed an original dial center card, and we'll do a still picture of that. Another issue that we want to talk about is I'm going to have to hold my hand over the transmitter, the spit cup, when we turn the amplifier on because the electronic amplified transmitters that we design and build here at the shop are so sensitive it will cause the amplifier to feed back. 
So now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and give you some dial tone. So we'll do that. We want to walk through our numbers. If you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers roll by. We want to end in a 2. If you watch this light here on the analyzer, you can see that the analyzer is actually picking up my transmit. And I'm pretty far back away from this candlestick telephone. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. <laughs> hello, hello. So the electronic amplified transmitters are very sensitive. And there will be no need to get right up on the spit cup to talk into this telephone. It almost acts like a speakerphone. It's that sensitive. Now that we know that this unit is dialing out, we have transmit and receive. We can push this button on the switch box. That gives us a line out, totally takes the analyzer out of the situation, and we can call a time and temp number. We'll give you some dial tone, and we'll make that call. We'll go ahead and hang up. We can call one other number. We'll call my number and it'll be busy. Give you some dial tone. We'll make that call. We'll go ahead and hang our unit up. Now that we know that this really cool candlestick telephone has been repaired and converted, we can return it to Bill and he can enjoy this telephone. I'm sure it's going to look great no matter where it's used. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618 235 6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.